guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back. Today is my January update video for my year-long makeup no buy journey. How did I do this month? Did I stick to my budget? If I did, what did I buy? Did I use it all? Did I save a little more than I thought I would? Stick around and find out. So if you haven't seen my introduction video on my year-long makeup no buy slash budget year, you should go watch it. It explains everything. My very first video that I ever did here on this channel a few weeks ago was an introduction into a budget that I had created that included a makeup no buy for the entire year of 2019. So this is an update as promised. How did I do? The first two weeks of January, I had $50 to work with. As stated before, every two weeks I have $50 to spend on extra things that I want and need that do not include makeup. I wanted in the beginning to fill out my wardrobe and to buy other things that I've had my eye on, but I haven't allowed myself to buy because I've had this makeup obsession for as long as I can remember. Okay, so the first two weeks of January, I didn't spend all of my $50. As a matter of fact, I think, let me look, I only spent 33. I got a substantial gift card from someone and I used it on Amazon, mostly to set all this gloriousness up. So that did not come out of my budget, but I did go over and I did use that $50 to encompass some of these things. I bought soft boxes that you can see these lights here. I bought a microphone and a tripod as well, but I also bought some skincare items. I had recently decided right, right when January got started to go from what I was using in skincare to fragrance-free items. I think, I have no scientific proof of this, but I think my skin may be sensitive to fragrance. So while I had a lot of things that worked, I quit using them and I, re and I replaced them, really. So what did I get? The first thing I ended up getting was the Hadalabo UV 54 Pluses sunscreen. I had a sunscreen that I felt was irritating my skin. I threw it out, I don't even remember what it was. And I ended up picking this up instead. I've been very happy with this. This is very emollient, I, watery. Like if I put it on my hand here, you can see it's not very gloopy for lack of a better word. And it rubs like, it, it spreads out really well and it rubs right in. And I'm very, very pleased with this. You don't get a lot, in fact, I don't even know how much you get because this is all in Japanese and I don't speak Japanese. I had to buy this on Amazon. They do not sell these in the States. But I have heard from several people, including dermatologists, that Asia and Europe makes better, better sun protection than the States does. And that's why I chose that. The next thing that I bought was the Hada Labo Skin Plumping Gel Cream. This stuff is fantastic. I have very dry skin and I needed something to give my skin something extra. So you can see, I can't really see that. It's just, it kind of looks like snot for lack of a better word. It's just this, it's what it says it is. It's a gel, rubs right in. I got this recommendation from Dr. Dre on the dermatologist here on YouTube. So what I end up doing with this is after I've washed my face, whether that's in the shower and it has water on it, I don't wash my face in the shower, whether it has water on it, whenever it does, I will immediately not dry my face I will make sure it's not dripping, but I won't use a towel on my face. And then I will come in with a pea size amount of this on my skin and rub it in. And then while it's still moist, I know people hate that word, but that's what it is. Then I'll go in with my moisturizer that I've had for a while. It's the CeraVe moisturizing lotion. And I can tell a huge difference when I use this and when I don't. What this is supposed to do is keep the water from evaporating off of your skin 
and keep that nice soft plumpness there instead of drying out. And I need all the help I can get. Now I also ended up getting the Softy Mo Co Cose Speedy Oil Cleanser. I meant to get the Hot Labo, but I kind of wanted to try this out. It was just a little bit cheaper. I usually, if I only have mascara or something on, I'll use one pump of this. And if I have a full face on like I do today, I'll use two pumps. I'll spread it over my hands, pat it on there, and then make sure that I've put it over my eyelashes and wipes it away. And then I will wash it off with water and then go in and cleanse, double cleanse, I guess you could say. This stuff, oil cleanser, because this is the first oil cleanser I've ever used. It gets my makeup off better than anything else I've ever used and it does it quickly. It doesn't dry out my skin. I don't feel like it strips my skin of what it needs, all those oils that it needs to have, and it gets everything off. And this particular kind does not burn my eyes. I know some people say oil cleansers burn their eyes. I haven't noticed that with, with this. I also got all of this stuff that I've mentioned got it on Amazon. I will go ahead and link all this skincare stuff below for you guys. Oh yes, I almost forgot one. I also bought a tube of the CeraVe Healing Ointment. It's a little one. I know they sell really large ones of these in the store and they're massive. If you're the kind of person that uses a bunch of this stuff, go for it. It's like $12. This was only three and a half dollars. It was an add-on item. And it's the perfect kind of lip balm. Um, I have, I have a Sephora points perk of the Laneige sleeping mask and I like it. I'm not too fond of the smell. It's bubble gum, I think. This has lasted me forever. I haven't even made hardly a dent in this and I've got this a long time ago. But I, I don't take this with me any all the time. I take this in my purse. So when I, I use this at night, um, it just feels more luxurious. But any other time of the day, it's either next to me on the couch or it's in my purse. It's, what is this made of? It's just petroleum. You don't have to use this. Vaseline, I think, would do just fine. I'm just a fan of the CeraVe products in general. Um, you don't need a lot of this either. This is gonna last me a while. Plus, if I've cut myself or something like that, I can also use that on, on that as well. So that was the first two weeks. Most of that was covered by this gift card that I had. So $33 is what I spent. And I think all of the other things that I had my eye on, I didn't have enough in my budget to use. So I just ended up waiting until I got paid again and did it that way. So let's move on to what I bought during the second half of the month. I also forgot one of those items. I'm gonna have to go, I'll be right back. So the second half of the month, I did use up all the $50 that I had. <laughs> Yay me. I did originally say I wanted to expand my wardrobe and I did that. I bought this shirt, which got ruffles on the front if you can tell and then on the sleeves here it's just a short sleeve I'll make sure I link that as well um what are my thoughts on this shirt it's okay I'm not too dazzled by it I mean that's what I get for buying online instead of in the store but I took a chance and I did it and it looked better on the picture than it did on me I feel like it has a tendency since it's mostly polyester to cling to places. And it also shows wrinkles a whole lot. And that's just not my thing. I don't like that about clothes. It's not that well made either. But live and learn, it was the first time I decided to go all out and buy clothes. Now, in my defense, I did go shopping. I went shopping for blouses. There's a reason why I didn't do that before now. Confession time. I hate trying on clothes in the store. Does anybody else hate that? 
Full disclosure, I am a plus size girl. And sometimes going into stores and trying on clothes is a little traumatic. You get in there, you find something you love, you try it on, and it looks horrible. My experience with trying on clothes is that most of the time, I'm gonna say 95% of the time, when I try clothes on in the store, they all are horrible. It's really hard to find clothes that fit me well. I have a very small waist compared to my hips, and this the difference is huge. I have a very large booty. And, and clothes just don't, if it fits over my hips, it's gonna look really frumpy around the middle and it's gonna look really boxy and not good. And if it fits well on the top and, it, and it's snug here, it's way too small for my hips. So if I think what I have been doing for my whole life is finding clothes that just fit over my body rather than fit my body well. And I've been avoiding going to the store and trying things on because I get very discouraged when I go and shop for clothes. Now this shirt fits me well. It hits me in all the right places. It does cling a little too tight to the hips, but it fits. I will definitely keep wearing it. I hope it doesn't frazzle out on me because like I said, it's cheaply made. Live and learn. <laughs> the next item I have, okay. I bought these and I haven't even worn them. I bought some earrings. So I said I wanted more jewelry and I bought this on Amazon. The picture had nothing to scale it. I thought these were a lot smaller than they are. They're beautiful, but uh, they're really big. Um, let me take one out. Okay, so if I'm going to put this on my ear, like, one, it's covering up all of the other earrings that I have on my ears. I have three holes in my lobes in the first place. So there's that. Also, I mean, compared to, it's as, it's as large as my ear is, really. Will I keep it? Yeah. Will I wear it? I think so. I like the colors. This was just unexpected, that's all. So when I link this down below, you know now how large these ear earrings actually are. I have pretty small ears and they also stick out from the side of my head. And they cover up the whole ear. Live and learn. Again, it's Amazon for you. Okay. This next one I'm very proud of. I already opened this box, so it's... Anyway, here we are. <laughs> I have had my eye on this tea for a year. This is the Red Rose Strawberry Cheesecake Tea. They have several flavors. They have this one. They have apple pie, lemon custard, something like that, and blueberry pie. I don't like blueberry. Lemon tea is not my style. I might try the apple pie, but this is the one I really wanted to try out. And this is dessert in a cup. It has, where are the, okay, zero everything. So no fat, no sodium, no carbs, no protein. Also on the ingredients list, it says apple pieces, hibiscus, natural flavor, rosehip, strawberry pieces, and stevia. That's what I use when I, what am I trying to say? When I want my coffee to be a little sweet, I put stevia in it. I don't put anything else. I don't want to spike any blood sugar, even though I'm not diabetic. Um, I did one time put cream in it and it diluted the, the flavor. So I don't put anything in it and I don't sweeten it at all. This is perfect the way it is. So if you want a dessert, but you want a zero everything dessert, I would try this. I had to get this on Amazon again. I know that they sell Red Rose tea in stores, but they don't sell this kind in stores. Um, and that's why I bought it online. This is something that you cannot buy here in the States, at least. 
unless you go online and get it. But I love this stuff. Mwah. Last, and it's not least because it's my favorite thing that I bought. I bought this pullover. It is an asymmetrical pullover from Amazon. As you can see, it goes to the side. I will also put a picture. I'll, I'll, I'll put a picture of it. That way you can tell uh, what it really looks like. This is the softest, fuzziest, warmest pullover I have ever had. I wear this every day. And then I get mad when it warms up in my house too much because I don't want to take it off. It is that fuzzy and wonderful. The only complaint that I have is on the side, so it's asymmetrical, right? So it buttons up, but I don't ever button it this way. And then the collar like flaps down and goes around. The only complaint that I have is that this side, like it just stands up. In fact, I'll just show you. I'll just show you what I mean. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it on and then you'll see. So as you can tell, look, this side doesn't, see what I mean? This is hard. I have to work with it before I, I have to work with it a little bit to get it to stay. Okay, there. But that doesn't bother me. It's so fluffy and lovely that it doesn't, I don't mind. It's just this part. See how it sticks up? It doesn't lay flat. That's the only thing that bothers me. But once I get it to where it's supposed to be, it'll pretty much stay. I did read on the reviews though that when you're buying this, make sure you go up a size than you normally do so it runs small. So that's what I did. I went up a size normal than I normally do and they were right and it fits me great. It is so lovely. <laughs> this was on my recommendations from Amazon. I just came across it. And um, it was like a, it's like a bestseller, so I'm sure some of you have seen this. It's the greatest thing I've ever bought. Bought? I am glad that I spent what twenty seven dollars on this instead of makeup. <sighs> Even though I really love my makeup, this whole process of not buying makeup and buying other things I want because makeup is just intruded into my life is. <sighs> What do I, I don't even know what to say. I don't regret this purchase. And that, I think, that says something about how far down the rabbit hole I was. I don't know if I can say I was addicted to makeup because I didn't go into debt over it and I, I think I could be. I could have gone over the edge and been, been addicted. If I hadn't intervened when I did with myself, I could have been a full-blown addict. I don't mean to demean anybody who is. I don't want to say anything out of context that I shouldn't because I haven't actually been there. I don't know. But I just felt like I was on the precipice of a real problem. And I pulled myself away from the edge. Now, I also knew coming into this project of mine, I needed boundaries. I needed rules and I needed to stop myself from taking this obsession with beauty and just putting it on to something else. Does that make sense? <sighs> this is going to be a year long journey. I'm sure I'm going to find other things along the way, but my revelation of myself for this first month is I can do this. I can go a whole year without obsessively keeping up with the beauty community and buying what everybody else is talking about. I can use what I have and I'm gonna be okay. I can expand my horizons and buy other things that I've always wanted to buy and become this person that I want to be. And I don't have to box myself into this world that I have, I've, that's what I've done. As much as I love makeup and I love the beauty community here on YouTube, it was taking over my life. All I was doing was watching makeup videos. And the more I watched videos about new products and new releases, the more hungry I became for those things. I, I had FOMO. I, I was going to miss out on stuff. And 
I think in a way I was searching for a place to belong and I felt like I belonged here. This is what I, I wanted to be a part of these people in this group. And if I expanded my horizons into other areas, I think I was afraid I was going to lose my identity because I had to let my identity be completely wrapped up in beauty products. And I started this journey. I'm sorry, I'm slipping over my words. I started this journey of exploration into other areas. It sounds silly. This is just a pullover. It's just a hoodie. What could this mean <laughs> for my self-esteem? I went after what I wanted, also starting a YouTube channel. I was so scared to do that, and I did it anyway. And I think this year is going to unfold a lot more things for me in terms of self-confidence and getting outside of my comfort zone, going to the store, trying on those clothes, even if they don't fit, or buying clothes and taking them to a tailor. For some reason, I never wanted to do that. I wanted to find clothes that fit, fit perfectly and were cheap. Well, I don't know if that's very realistic. So we'll see what the next month holds. It, February is actually my birthday month. So I am expecting a few gifts here and there. Um, hopefully money that I can spend on a wardrobe or other things. I don't know what I want yet. We'll, we'll see what I, what I decide. Some of the things that I am considering, either a ring light, I don't know if I really need one with my current setup. I'm sure it would help, but they're expensive. I, I haven't made my mind up yet. That is on my list. Eventually in the future, I will get one. I just don't know when that's going to be. A bookcase, I guys, my, I might get one of those. My books at the moment are in a dresser. They're in, they're in a dresser. We moved here almost a year ago. I don't have a bookcase. I want one. Also, like the ring light, it's more money than I want to pay. That's another thing I figured out. I want the things that I want, but I want them to be dirt cheap. I could go bargain hunting and I could find one. I just don't like having to get out and go and hunt for things. <laughs> Anybody else? raise their hand. <laughs> I might spend it on clothes. I may get a, an actual vanity chair for this vanity. Right now I'm in a camping chair and it's fine, but I've wanted a vanity chair for a while. I might actually, or I might invest in a better camera. I don't know. I will make my mind up. It's not going to be beauty, but it is going to be something. Oh, and I forgot. <laughs> I spent my last $5 on a cup of coffee because I did car rider duty the other day and the wind chill was 20 degrees. I'm a southern baby. I don't do that. And I live in Oklahoma and the wind is horrible. And I treated myself, I had $5 left. I went to a local coffee shop and got myself a coffee to treat myself because that was horrible. I love the kids. I don't love the weather. <laughs> All right, so that's it. That's how January went. I stuck to my budget, man. I'm so proud of myself, you guys. I feel better sticking to my guns than I did buying makeup. Oh my gosh. I saved a lot of money. So thank you so much for sticking around. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe before you leave and I'll catch you later.